just tell me when you're wrong. Yep. <clears throat> when I'm cinching up in the barn, especially here, because a lot of times where wrecks occur is where people are saddling their horse, and as my floor in my barn here is cement, and what they'll do is they'll take it and they'll pull that cinch real tight, and that horse, if he's a little bit cinchy, he might be bothered. And if he pulls back, he could slip and fall. And generally speaking, that's when you hear about a saddle getting broke, the saddle tree getting broke. That's what's happened. The horse has thrown himself in the barn and landed on the horn and broke it. So I'll always, I mean, I can run my hand underneath my cinch right there. It's snug enough that I'm not worried about my saddle coming loose or whatever. And when I go into the arena like that, I'll probably move around a little bit and then I'll, I'll ease it up, tighten it up a little bit more. And by the time I'm going to go and progress to where we're doing what we're going to do, and it might be working cows or it might be roping or something like that, I'll probably even check and pull it up a little bit tighter again. So I never hawk that cinch in real tight when I first saddle my horse up, okay? My back cinch is always, I always do my front cinch first, then my back cinch. Same thing with my back cinch. I don't, I'm not going to hawk that back cinch in there super tight. I have it to where it's safe. I can run my hand in here. If she kicks at a fly, she's not going to get her foot underneath her, her back cinch and get herself in a wreck. It's snug enough that it's there, but it's not binding up real tight. That'd be like you taking your belt and tightening it up real tight and then going to do some push-ups or running around. It's just uncomfortable. Now, if I'm going to go rope and do some stuff where I need a tighter back cinch later on, I'll snug it up another hole. This is a nice little thing when I'm looking right here that Derek Pitts does on all his stock saddles right here. This is a, a hobble holder. So right here behind the back cinch, there's a hobble holder right in here. So that's where I hang my hobbles. Also have a, I have a little bit of rope right here. I don't know, it's probably like 12 feet long or something. If I need to tie a cow down or something like that, or if I need a piece of rope. And there's lots of times when you're out in the hills, or whatever, working, that you, a piece of rope will come in real handy. So that just hangs right here. Now, sometimes you'll see this is kind of regional, I think. You wouldn't see this so much in Nevada or California, but when you go, say, around Texas or Arizona like that, they'll pack their hobbles like this. They'll take and they'll tie them, just buckle them up, put them around their horse's neck, and then they'll head out, and if they need their hobbles, they're right there. But Derek Pitts always puts a hobble hanger on his saddle, so I can just hang mine right there. Pretty functional.